Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to if you're new here. In today's video, we have the OPI Nail Envy colors that they sent me recently as PR. You guys saw in the box that I showed you in the unboxing that we did, I think it was earlier this week or last week, where they sent a bunch of colors and I said I was gonna share them with you guys. And I do have some info that I wanna talk about these. And then also in the box, I got the OPI Repair. Let me show you. So it's this product. I'm currently testing it, right? Because you're supposed to use it twice a day for six days. So I'm not done. I'm doing it in this hand, which I do have damage. So, I mean, if I didn't have damage, what am I even testing, right? So I removed some gel in a rush. Whatever you see happening to my nails, it is my fault. It's nobody else's fault but mine. So I'm paying the price right now, but it was perfect timing for testing. So a video about this is going to be coming soon but that's not what this video is about just wanted to give you guys a preview of what's coming today we're going to be swatching and talking about these and i also had a request um some of you said i want you to compare these to the originals and i have some of them i'll be showing you but otherwise let's do swatches and I'll... some of these are very very good i had never seen them before so let's get into them all right so i want to show you something on the instructions of these they, they all say the same and the instructions match the instructions of the Nail Envy base coats. Now, this one, you cannot read it, but just trust me, it says the same. All the bottles say the same thing. And it's just saying to apply two coats to bare nails and then followed by an additional coat daily. Now, I'm going to be honest. For me, if I have to do that with a base coat, I'm fine with it, you know, because when you have a base coat on, it's just one quick shiny layer and that's fine. But if I have to do that with color, I can tell you right now that I'm not doing that. Um, I don't want to have to wait for a coat of polish to dry every single day. I mean, assuming that I'm doing weekly manicures, of course, you guys know I'm a content creator, that doesn't count. But if I'm someone that paints their nails to have a lasting manicure with color for a couple of days, I don't want to have to do a coat every day. That's just personal. It's just me. I'm testing it on, the, on this finger because I don't have repair mode testing happening on my thumb. I, I'm only testing it on two fingers so that I can compare with the other two and so on. But basically, I just don't think I want to be doing that with color. So... If I wear these, I'm going to be probably wearing them just as if they were regular polish, treating them as color and that's it. But you can, if you want to, and if you're okay with that, just apply them. Apparently they don't need base coat or top coat per, you know, per their instructions. Of course, you can still probably wear a base coat and a top coat and it's going to be okay as well. So first up, we have the classic Alpine Snow, which is their classic white. There are no undertones here. This is just a white, the one that you will use for French tips or if you just want a white manicure, this one is the one. This formula was very good. It actually reminded me of how creamy and buttery their Nature Strong polishes are. Now, I've never tried the Nail Envy color line before. It's my first time, so I really don't know if that's how they're always been, you know? But I have to say that the formula was very good. Now, I also have a comparison of this color to the regular Alpine Snow, which somebody requested that I compared um, the Nail Envy to the, you know, regular. And I have some of them, so I'll be showing you the ones that I do have. Some of them, it's the first time I see that color, so I obviously don't want the other one. So this one, there's no difference whatsoever. But of course, this is a new bottle, so this one has the better formula for me right now. But if this one was a new bottle, I think they will be about the same. Actually, I think I lied. I don't think they will be exactly the same. I feel, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this one is a little bit more buttery and creamier, whereas this one tends to be more chalky. Um, but again, I might be misremembering. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. All right, up next, we have Double Nudie. And this is the first time I see this color. And I'm wearing it here on my thumb. It had a fantastic formula. It was almost a one quarter for me. Um, I even think it's a it's a nude kind of light brown thing that kind of works for me. I like it um, But yeah, the color was fantastic It was super even and opaque and one coat, but I did do two and I think it looks better at two But it's a very easy to work with formulation. You guys are not gonna have any trouble whatsoever with this one All right up next we have bubble bath, which you know the classic of the classics <laughs> and this one if you have it in, in gel it's a pink if you have it on regular, it's like a, actually a peach. It's a pink with peach. And then if I were to compare it to the original, which is a bottle that's a little bit older. So you guys have to keep that in mind. Some of these colors fade out. This one feels a little bit more yellow, whereas this one feels a little bit more pink. But I think that might have more to do with the fact that this is an older bottle 
on the fact that there's any color difference between the Nell Envy and the original, so keep that in mind. Um, now this one was sheer and a little bit streaky on the first coat, but I did a floating coat on the second one and it was good and opaque and even for me. So I don't think you're gonna have any trouble. Um, and I do feel like this one's a tiny bit better formula-wise than the original. But again, ah, it's kind of hard to judge because my other bottle's are a little bit old and I don't remember exactly how it behaved when I first bought it. And this is a new bottle, you know, new bottles behave better. But anyways, sorry, I hit my camera, I always do that. But for what it is, this one has a very good formula. And I mean that considering that it's a sheer, you know, that they tend to be streaky. I expected the first coat to not be completely even and have some minor streaking and then be able to get it even on the second coat with a float. So considering that, it had a good formula. All right, up next we have another classic. This was Big Apple Red. And I have to tell you, this I think would be considered a true red and it's showing too orange on camera. Reds are so hard for me. And if I compare it, I don't have the regular line. I have the infinite shine. When you look at the infinite shine, there's definitely a difference, okay? This one leans a lot more pink, whereas this one stays more of a true red. And I don't have Big Apple Red in the regular bottle, so I don't know if there will be a difference. Um, but I have to say, you know, with that difference aside, it's very minor. Maybe on the nail, it doesn't even translate. You'll see a comparison in a second. I don't remember if it translates, but the formula on this, like it's one of those that when I did the first swipe on the nail, I did like a little, like it was a physical sound that I made because I was like mind blown by how beautiful this formula is. This is a red that I think everybody would love. I just don't see how you don't. Unless you really, really love those reds that are have like the fiery orange undertones, this red I think will be something that everybody will love. And the formula is top notch, you guys. Amazing. Now we know OPI, they do reds in a fantastic way, but this one is like a little bit better than all their other reds. I don't know how to explain it. It's like more buttery, more creamy. The formula just listens to the brush and it just stays where you put it. It's just, just top notch. All right, up next we have a color that I had also never seen before. It's called Tough Love. And it's kind of like a terracotta red, kind of like brick red with a pink shift going on, okay? Had a very good formula, no complaints whatsoever. It's really not one of my favorite colors here. Um, I tend to like terracotta colors that are either more orange or just less wine. This is not a combination that I personally like, but the formula is fantastic. No problem whatsoever, you're not gonna have any issues. And since this is the first time I see this color, I don't have an original to compare to, but oh my God, the formula, very, very good. Up next, we have another one that I don't have an original to compare, but it's called Powerful Pink. This one's the Pearl. You guys already know how I feel. I don't like pearls, that's it. I have nothing else to say. However, for what it is, the formula is fantastic. Now you're still gonna get the streaks on the pearl. There's nothing you can do about that because they're there. But if you just lightly feather the brush, you know, when you're doing the application, the last, the last coat, make sure the lines are very straight and make sure you barely touch the nail with the brush, kind of like feathering it, I call it, which is like, you're not pressing down. You're kind of doing like, like, like that, okay? This is another one that I don't have anything to compare it to. It's called All Night Strong. And this one was another one that the formula, when I put it on my nail, I was like, wow. Like, it is so pigmented, so fantastic. You barely needed a second coat. I don't even know why I did a second coat, just because I did it for all the others. And I wasn't gonna like, you know, leave this one by itself. But oh my God, it is so good. Now, one thing to know, this is very pigmented. This is like ink. I would double base coat. This thing that it says about putting this directly on your naked nail, I wouldn't do it. Unless your nails are like in you know, perfect shape that the surface is completely intact and you, or you have oily nails that tend to not stain as much. If you have like the most minimal porosity on your nails or like wearing out where things can get stuck, you know, I would say double base coat with this baby. But the formula and the color are both amazing. All right, so this is not a collection, so I'm really not gonna pick favorites or talk about, obviously I cannot talk about color story or, or anything, right? But I do have to say, when it comes to this line, keep in mind, I only tried this seven. It's very hard to judge a line by such a small sample, but based on the samples that I have at hand, it's, it's a very, very good formulation. Um, now, I don't really know 
about the whole nail envy thing, it would take me some testing to see if that does anything. I don't think they're claiming that it does anything. It's, it's more of like a protective layer, kind of like a base coat. I don't think they're claiming that it does anything like, for example, what the repair mode is supposed to be doing. So I'm not gonna be testing any of that. I just wanted to show you guys the color, talk about the formulas, how I felt about them. And I think they're very, very good. Now, I don't know what the price point is for these. So I couldn't tell you if they're worth the money. I don't know, Obi, I sent them to me, so I haven't looked. But anyways, as far as, like I said, how they stand on their own two feet, very good formulas, good colors, everything is good. I have no complaints about them whatsoever. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming to my review and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.